and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team. You guys, today I'm going over the top 10 players you need an Ultimate Team right now. Now, I've done power up over power list. I've done top 10 overall guys. And my top 10 overalls include price. I am no longer including price. I'm including what I think is glitchy. Like, these are the glitchiest cards in the game. Uh, I'm not doing price this time. This is overall for everyone. Like, can if you can't afford it, like I get that. Which is why I have my other ones, which when I do my overpower videos, those cards are like for their price. You can't go wrong with them. These are the top 10 players that I pretty much used each and every one of them. And I can attest that they are the glitchiest cards in the game. And if you're, if you're trying to build the best team in the game, your team should consist of most, if not all, of these players, to be quite honest with you guys. So, before we get into the video, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You guys have been crazy with the like button. You guys can't go back now. You, you can't. Like, you guys, 300 likes per video, 700 likes, 800 likes. You get too late, guys. And the giveaway word was announced, so if you guys haven't watched the video, make sure to go watch the video. I think it should be the video you're watching before this. Yeah, it should be the one before this, so make sure you watch the video at some point after this. It's not a race, so whoever finds it, make sure you watch the video. All the details are in that video, so make sure to check that out later on. Now, guys, like I said, my favorite thing to do when a video is posted is to click refresh and see hundreds of likes piling on. So everyone watching it right now, each and every last one of you guys, yes, I'm talking to you. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that noti bell, turn on that subscribe button, boys. We're growing crazy fast, and it's all because of how much you guys are liking and supporting the video. So thank you guys for that. So keep it up, boys. I expect nothing but greatness from you guys from now on. Now, let's get into the video. So first on the list... You guys probably wouldn't expect it. Evan Ingram. Ingram, however you say his name. I'm a Giants fan. I should have got that right the first time. He's 355K. Now, you guys might not think much, right? Evan Ingram. What is Evan Ingram in real life? He's a wide receiver, build, and athleticism at tight end. He is, in real life, very great. If our offense could ever click, he is considered glitchy at for his matchups. Now, Evan Ingram is what you'd love to do in Madden, putting a wide receiver at tight end. Now, compare him to most tight ends, right? Most tight ends are going to have like an 83 speed, 82 speed, 84 speed, and even they can break on linebackers. Imagine if Evan Ingram was faster than every linebacker in the game by a wide margin. You know those seam routes that we run in Madden? With the tight end seam streaks and he splits the defense? Well, with Evan Ingram, he won't just split them, he'll burn them. Because he has so much spacing. Tight ends are given the most spacing in the game, right? That's why I've always been a big fan of tight ends in Madden, at least the way I play. Tight ends are always given the most spacing because they're matched up with no one or they're matched up in space, or they're matched up one-on-one, -on -one, or they're matched up on a linebacker. Wide receivers have a much harder time. Tight ends are easy. Like Kittle gets open for me all the time. He's not even a full card, just a power-up. Gets open all the time. And he would break bigger runs if you only had, if he had a higher speed than 83. Imagine Evan Ingram on like a little out route. He has good route running for a tight end, like not bad. 90 spec catch, 86 catch, and 88 speed, six foot three. He can't run block, but that's why he's not gonna be my main tight end. He will be a tight end. I have Kittle as the run blocking one, and he'll be my receiving tight end. Now, guys, if you power this card up, he will be nasty. Power up with camps and go deep and stuff. He'll have a high catch, high spec catch, a high deep route running, which you can't see on here, and he'll have a 89 speed. And if you can put Brawler and stuff, even break the 90 speed threshold with him, guys, it's a GG for this card. I'm telling you, Evan Ingram is way better than people forget people even give mine to. And quite honestly, if you if I didn't have Kittle already. I'd probably buy the full one, but for me personally, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get I, I'm gonna, I powered him up to an 80, I believe it's an 87, 88 overall, right? 88, 89 ish. I'm gonna power him up to that, and then I'll use that one instead for now, and so I can afford the full one. I don't really want to shout all my coins to the promo, obviously, but getting over to Brian Dawkins, 230k guys. I'm gonna show you guys both powered up and unpowered up. Powered up though, base this card's amazing because he is the only he's one of the only safeties in the game right now that's that fast with that play wreck. With that pursuit, with that hit power in that zone, he gets the hit power threshold, 90 threshold, the zone threshold, the pursuit threshold, and the playbook threshold. And he's tall and he's fast. And powered up, obviously, he hits it all standard. And then you gotta throw a lockdown on him. He ends up with some crazy stats. Now, like I said, I've been saying this for a while. The only way he gets knocked off my list is if they do introduce a Sean Taylor card, which will probably have a similar zone and a better hit power and possibly a better speed. And I, I don't remember if he's taller. But pretty much, not much else to say about Brian Dawkins. He is on this list primarily because he is, in my opinion, the best free safety in the game for the time being. Now, the next guy on this list, guys, he will be on this list all year. Guys, you already know. Lawrence Taylor is one of the glitchiest cards, one of the glitchiest human beings in the history of Madden, in the history of life when it comes to football. This card right here, 
I've been saying it for a while. This card plays great. Amazing for me. Always gets to the quarterback. Three sacks a game. Now, imagine when he gets his upgrade. That's why I always have him on this list. I have him powered up, ready to go. Once he gets his upgrade, it'll be even better. Right now, he's great. He's amazing. He's glitchy, guys. I have him all coming off the edge, and he's always there. Powered up with, uh, I believe I use Shaker, it is. Cards a beast. The only reason he's at number eight and not higher is because of him not having the best card at the moment. Like, he's not the highest rated on this list, so I can't keep him up too high. But when he gets his next card, he'll probably be in the top three. Next card on this list is Mr. Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward is up here because of his speed, strictly because of his speed, right? All the other stats are great, but that speed is game breaking, especially powered up on my team. Denzel Ward comes out to having about brawl with brawl and everything. I believe about a 94 speed and just base is 92. He's going to be the probably the fastest cornerback on the field, minus Deion Sanders. If you can stay with any route and the press, that press combined with that speed pretty much means for the most part he cannot be burned. Maybe Tyreek Hill if we're lucky, but he, for the most part, he cannot be burned. So having cornerbacks like him to really stop the home run hitter plays. He has good jumping, decent height, good athleticism, great agility. He can return picks. He can play lockdown man, which is great for the blitz meta. I'm telling you guys, Denzel Ward, you cannot go wrong with Denzel Ward. And again, these are not price-based, so I'm not including price. And this has nothing to do with anything. So I never usually include high-priced players in these lists because I feel like I want to give you guys the best bang for your buck. But this is the overall top 10 players. Now, next, guys, obviously George Kittle's up here the 92 redux i rock with this one only because again i don't have too many coins right now i gotta work up with my coins but this 92 redux guys you can't go wrong with it what tight end can block like a lineman run like a slow wide receiver but you know run like a wide receiver block like a lineman and catch like a wide receiver george kittle's the only one he is the second fastest tight end i'm pretty sure in the game he's right up there with like sharp and obviously engram's the fastest He's right up there for a high overall card. Don't find me some gold card with a 90 speed. For a high card, he's like, for this stats, he's the second or third highest fastest head end. And he has above 90 catching. Decent all around stats. And he can run block. So he can play. He's the best He's the best hybrid because you don't have to worry about putting him in and out for certain plays. Just have him in there. You need some block, press Y on him, max protect him. You need to run block, run block with him. You need a route to run, he'll be there too. People forget about him because he's usually blocking for me. I think Kittle's a monster. I haven't powered up for now, so remember, you can always just power them up for the time being until you're ready. Next card, this guy wrecks havoc on me when I play him. My 91 wrecks havoc, and I really need to pick up the brand new one because I'm missing out. Once his price is justifiable, he's getting 700 range. If he gets like 600 range, he is mine. Aaron Donald, 92 overall redux. I have his 90, guys. His speed, speed and athleticism, and his athleticism is great for another stat. Usually when you have a right hand with even athleticism close to 80, his other stats suffer. Aaron Donald, that is not the case. He has almost 80 speed, 85 excel, 93 strength is eight, amazing. 85 tackles, good. 91 play rec is amazing, 90 block shed, 92 power move, and 89 finesse move. Now, you power this guy up, and you chem him up. He's going to have well above 90 power move, well above 90 finesse move, well above 90 block shed, well, in the, well above 90 play rec, closer to 90 tackle, well above 93 strength. Close to 90, he's gonna have like an 87 XL, 86 XL, depending on what you put on him. And his speed will almost be an 80, guys. This card is a monster powered up. I cannot wait to pick him up. It's probably gonna be the next card I buy, him or Randy Moss, obviously. Now, next on this list, he probably shouldn't have been as high as I put him, but I'm a huge fan of him. I plays amazing for me. Guys, having a guy like Ray Lewis at your linebacking court, you guys don't even know. You know, like when a guy does a slant and the, you, you want to hit stick him with your linebacker, drop the ball. Ray Lewis destroys them to the point where they could catch it five yards away, and even if they possess, he'll kill them, and they'll drop the ball. It might not be a fumble, but he makes sure that if you run, you run his way after a catch, you're dropping that ball. He has high speed, high hit power, high tackle, high play rec, high block shedding. You guys want to see him powered up? Since I have him, look at the, look at those stats. All above 90s, and then his athleticism. Ray, that's the, oh, it's always been the knock on Ray Lewis cards. They never give him the athleticism. He's always like crazy at everything, but his athleticism sucks. You could just leave him out there, do what he's got to do. He stops the run. He's an amazing run stuffer. He's great in coverage. Although his zone doesn't say he is, guys, he's still not bad in coverage because he's fast and he's athletic and he's not that tiny either. And you can even use him if you really want to. I use him here and there if I want to leave Shazier in the zone because Shazier can obviously zone him by himself, which is why sometimes I switch back and forth depending on who I'm going to use. And Ray Lewis is just as fast, so you can switch back and forth either or. Coming at number three, a guy that, quite honestly, the consensus is he's three, although I think I'd rather Donald over him. I have to put Moss at three because Moss is just overpowered. I see too many clips of him destroying people online. His power is actually pretty expensive. I didn't even realize that. Let's see. 800k. Again, if he gets into the 600 range, he's an auto buy for me. Randy Moss right here. 90. The combo. You just don't get the route running, catching, speed, height combo that you get with Randy Moss, right? Usually a guy with 91 speed, 92 jumping, and 92 deep route running, they're tiny and they can barely catch. Randy Moss has 
the speed of Tory Holt, right, with the height of a tight end, like Rob Gronkowski, let's just say, although Gronk's obviously taller, with the catching of a tight end, or like a top tier wide receiver, with great route running, and that can only be improved. His deep route running is amazing. Once you power him up and chem him up, his deep route running is going to be like 95, 96. With go deep, his speed's going to be like a 92. Powered up, this card's going to be a monster. And then if you put the right abilities and chems on him, guys, he's unstoppable. People verse me with him, and it's literally the most frustrating thing because they can get whatever they want all day. Even if he's not open, they just throw it to him. He boxes my cornerback. He gets some animations I'm not used to, which I've realized from Mutt 10 players. Mutt 10 players get animations that like other cards don't exactly get. I don't know if it's like certain thresholds I gave him. Deion Sanders is number two on the list. Deion Sanders, guys, I haven't fully powered up. This card is a monster. 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping. That is the most athletic card in the game. I think, hands down, there's not more. Even a running back, that's the most athletic card in the game. 90 play rec. And by the way, that's saying a lot because what do you want in Madden athleticism? He's the most athletic card in the game. He's the most game-breaking card right now. Although he plays cornerback, he can kick return. He can punt return. He can pick return. I pro Guys, every time I've gotten a pick with this card, he's pretty much taken back to the house. I don't think I haven't taken one to the house yet. He has destroyed every time he gets it, he's gone. He's too fast, he's too elusive. I even had jukebox on him for a while, but I took it off. He has 90 play rec, 93 man, 91 zone. Everything is a threshold except for press. That's fine, you just don't press it. That's pretty much it. And then to top it all off, he has the kicker turn, obviously, the catching. And I think he has a spin and juke, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, juke move 91, spin move 87. This card's a monster, guys. He is a running back. He's like a an uber athletic running back built into the body of a super defensive cornerback. Deion Sanders is definitely the move. Now, the only guy I have above him is because he's even more game breaking than him, guys. Ever since I got him, this is the card in the game that you want. This is the card. This guy has broken the game for now. Like 500k was the best 500k I ever spent. I spent it all right up front for him. I didn't even care. Look at him powered up. 95 speed, 90 jumping, 84 catching, 84 catching traffic, 83 spec catch, 85 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 91 deep route running. When he first came out, people were like, "Oh, his route running is not that great. His catching is like, I don't care." I throw drags to this guy and the abilities he can get. He can get change of direction, which is a huge ability. So pretty much change of direction means that wherever you catch the ball, you can quickly cut without having to do that little slow, dumb cut that Madden introduced last year. So what I do is I throw drags to him right when he gets in front of the linebacker and then I cut it right upfield real quick. And I can take it off for like 15 yards a pop. And also you can change direction quickly. So like if you're running at someone, you don't have to juke him out. I just like go like left, right? Le I just keep changing direction. It's so simple to do because he has that ability. And with his speed right after you change direction, you can burst right out of there. This guy's a monster and deep route running with some streak specialist. Burns people, mosses people. Oh, post over the middle. You throw a deep post. You just lob it up all the way. 70 yards down the field. Obviously, it'd work a lot better. If I didn't have Lamar Jackson, that quarterback, just wait. Just wait. Wait till I have like Pat Mahomes or someone that could have a skate artist and could throw deep. Because Pat Lamar has no throw power. He doesn't have much throw deep. So I feel the issue that Lamar handicaps him a little bit, but it's more than okay. Hey guys, that is about it for the video. If I had to pick the two on this list that I need, it's Tyreek and Dion. That's why they're in the top two. That's why I have them there where they are. And obviously, this list is subject to change. But for the time being, before Thanksgiving and everything, this is the list, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. And don't forget, run that like button up, boys. Like I said, it's such a great feeling. It takes a second out of your time. You guys run that like button up. I love seeing it spiral up like that. And guys, the channel has been growing great since you guys started doing all this for me. We've gained like 300 subscribers the last two days. You guys want to grow the community and make us one of the biggest communities in the Madden content world, guys. Keep running up that like button. Smash it, and don't forget, the giveaway is being announced on the other video that I posted, which should have been the House Rules video, so make sure to check that out, and I have a secret code within the video. It's not a rush, though, so don't skip through. You gotta find it, and I'll be I'll be polling probably tomorrow. That was a mouthful. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.